Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com. I thought I'd do a video on when to harvest onions. It's uh, middle to late September right now and all my onions are ready for harvest. Uh, but just in general, I thought I'd speak to this topic. Um, I harvest my onions as soon as I, they start looking like onions in general, okay? So if it's August and I need an onion and I've got some sort of size bulb, I use that. Also, if it's even July, I'll use the greens, but I'll leave the whole bulbs. So whenever you need it, whenever you need an onion, you take an onion. But when is it the case that you harvest all of them and you need to get them out of the ground? I think around this time of year, this is September, is a good idea. But really what you're looking for, if you can see this whole garden, almost all of them with a couple exceptions, this flops over, right? Once you see the, the, the stem, when the greens flop over, you see they're all flopped over, the onion's done. It's done onioning, right? It's ready to be picked. Um, and when you get a nice day like today, it's a perfect day to do it, right? Where you can, you can pick them and just dust the, dust the uh, dirt off of them and just leave them out in the sun like this, right, to dry. And then maybe later in the day, bring them in for processing. Okay, so once they've flopped over, that's when it's time to pick them. But also, when you're getting towards the end of the year, you don't want to leave them in the ground too long. Um, some, some onions respond different than others to frosts. So I, I try to get them out before there's frost this time of year, end of August, early September, when they've all flopped over, you got a nice dry day, you get them all picked like this in the morning and let them air out over the course of the day. In the evening, I just clean them up like this with a knife, right? Get those little things off. Get that off. Okay? That's all I do. And then I'll bring them indoors, lay them out on cardboard with a fan. If you had a shed or some sort of, if you had some sort of indoor situation where you had airflow and the temperatures weren't going below zero, that would be fine too. But I put them in my garage on the floor on cardboard. I lay them all out so they're all spaced out, so they're not touching one another. And I have a little fan and I leave them like that for a week. And that cures them. And then I store them in a cardboard box somewhere cool. I've got a refrigerator in my garage that I use for storing things. That works fine. But as long as you had a cold room or anything like that, a cellar uh, where the temperature is, you know, less than eight degrees Celsius, but above freezing, they'll keep really well. It really depends on how many onions you have. But yeah, that's, that's all. I mean, onions keep really well as long as you can get them cured. They don't want to be sitting around damp. It's another reason to get them out this time of year because very soon we're, you know, October, we start getting into a kind of rainy season and you don't want them sitting around in wet soil and that sort of thing. They can, you know, some pests will get at them. They can rot. They can get compromised. And you got a bed full of beautiful, look at this one, it's the size of a softball, right? You get a bed full of beautiful onions like that uh, that have grown well. You don't want any of that to go to waste because onions are so useful in cooking, right? Step one for cooking just about anything is cut up an onion and get it going, right? So uh, just a quick video on when to harvest onions. Harvest them when you need them, but when do you harvest all of them? When they've all flopped over and it's still reasonably warm and you still have some dry days and you can see the, the skin's getting papery at the top. And this onion just wants to be harvested. It's telling you it's ready to be harvested, okay? Um, so that sort of thing. Hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. Check out my podcast at maritimegardening.com. Check out my weekly article at maritimegardening.substack.com. And until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.